everyone, it's Pam from Stellar Crafts by Pam, and today I'm making a card featuring Lawn Fawn's Fantastic Friends, and I'm using it in a different way. I'm going to be making it into a Father's Day card or a birthday card for a father. I'm starting off here with some new papers from Lawn Fawn. So I have the Perfectly Plaid and the Polka in the Meadow 6x6 six six packs. I'm also cutting up some Stamping Up Soft Sky paper just to give it a little bit of an accent in the background. And I've already pre-colored my fish tank and my fish using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. So first I am taking the polka paper and gluing that to the bottom of the plaid paper. And then I'm gluing that strip of Stampin' Up! paper right on top. And this is going to be a shaker card and it's going to be a little bit different than your typical shaker card. It's going to be made using the same type of materials where you use foam tape to pop up your paper and you have an acetate window. But what I'm doing here is I'm going ahead and I'm making a hole that is going to fit the fish tank that I've created. So I cut the fish tank out of the background paper. And now I'm taking my fish tank and lining it up with the paper and gluing it down. That way there's no guessing on where it should be on the background. So now I'm starting to put my scene together. So I'm starting off with a little fish and I'm gluing him to a little piece of seaweed, I guess it is. And I did that because I knew if I glued the fish down first, it might not be in the right spot. So this way I can ensure that the fish is going to be poking its head out and the seaweed is going to be able to go where I want it to go. Next is the little sand castle. and another little piece of seaweed. So these pieces of the card are not going to be interactive. Instead, they're just going to stay on the background. And so now I'm doing what you would do with any type of shaker card. I'm putting glue around the hole. I'm just using some tear tape and then I'm gluing down the acetate window. Now, to make this interactive, I wanted my fish, instead of just being shaken around my whole fish tank, I wanted to have him kind of hanging from a string that you can't really see, and then moving back and forth. So what I'm doing is I'm just using some regular scotch tape and some string that I found in my jewelry making collection of supplies, and I'm just taping this to the back of the fish and I'm making sure that it's pretty secure because once it's in the window, I'm not going to be able to go back in and fix it. So just like a normal shaker card, I am putting the foam all around my window so that can pop up on the card. And now I'm going ahead and putting my fish down. So I'm testing out. You can see I'm trying to move it back and forth to make sure that it's gonna do what I want it to do, so it does move. The previous one that I made, it didn't move around as much with the string I used, so I used a different string this time. This one's a little bit more flexible. So you can see I just cut off the excess, made sure that it moved, and now I'm putting some extra embellishments inside the fish tank before I actually close up the shaker. So I'm using some clear droplets from Pretty Pink Posh to represent little bubbles. With these, I recommend when you're gluing them down, holding it down with two fingers. That way it doesn't slip and slide. So I took off all the backing from the foam tape. and I put that over top of my fish tank and I move it around to make sure that it is shaking. So you can see it's a kind of like a shaker, it's interactive, but not so much where it has a bunch of stuff moving around. So now I am using the new banner dies from Lawn Fawn. 
and I used the You're Fantastic from the stamp set and I stamped that onto the banner and I took the banner and I put the die over the banner again and ran it through my die cutting machine just so I could still get that fishtail look on the other side of the banner but I wanted the banner to be a little bit shorter than what the die made. So now I'm using my Quinn's ABCs, there's capital and lowercase, and I am die cutting the letters for dad. And originally I was just going to use the die cuts, but then I realized with the A especially that it wasn't really as defined as I wanted it to be until I actually stamped the A onto the die cut. So here I'm just using some stays on black ink to do that. And now I'm using phone tape to pop up the banner. And I'm gluing down the letters for dad. I started with the A so I can make sure to center it on the card. And then I put the le other letters on each side. And I kind of slanted them a little bit so it kind of has this upward curve. And then I finished off the card using Wink of Sella on the sentiment and the letters. And that pretty much finishes up my card. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. You can also check out the corresponding blog posts that I'll link below. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.